Hey guys, I'm going to give you an example of how heaven and hell are on this very same earth. You can be having a great time. I was getting ready to, um, you know, just go out and explore the city. And I look out my window because I, I, I thought I heard somebody speaking, you know, for a little bit outside the truck. And that's, you know, that's not normal in an industrial area. And so... I'm about to leave the truck and then I see these guys, look at this is outside the window on the passenger side. This guy here is shooting dope and I don't know if you can see the needle. And that's his buddy right there. That's the mirror for the truck. This is what you're looking at, you know? It's very unfortunate that, you know, they're, they're so into it that, look, it, he's about to wrap up his arm. He's about to wrap up his arm. They're so into it that they're not even noticing what's going on, you know, that I'm here or anything. Look, he's just grabbed the needle. What a sad deal. Drugs are a no-no, guys. You know, they'll, they'll, uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, that kept me sane and that will keep any man sane while going through a hard divorce or anything, you know, you want to stay away from substances that, that will, that will destroy you, you know. This is very sad indeed. Look at that, this guy's shooting his leg. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not interfering with any of it because that can mean trouble for me. People can be very reactive when you interrupt them. Yep, we are in Boston, Massachusetts tonight. It's a very beautiful city. I've And, you know, this sort of thing will put you out here, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll put you on the streets and, and it'll leave you on the streets. You know, this is, this is no way to, uh, no way to live a life, you know. Bad enough that we have women tearing us up. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to finish the job, you know, we don't want to help them out. by uh by destroying ourselves you know this is in the middle of a sidewalk here in an industrial area in Boston Massachusetts I'm telling you guys, you can have a very hard life. I I'm going to get the camera off this, guys, because it, it makes no sense, um, you know, continuing to uh, look at this one. This guy already passed out. He's already nodded off. You know, that heroin, that's, that's just straight poison. Straight poison to the body, you know. And this is very near a hospital area. This is this is very near a hospital area and let me just uh just center the camera here on something else. I'm cuz I'm going to keep talking to you guys here for a little bit. You know, and these hospitals they're doing their very best to keep people hooked in all kinds of drugs. It's uh it's a big mafia, you know. It's a big um big setup that that they have here uh, so that's one of the things you want to stay away from you know when when you're going your own way you want to stay clean you know you don't want to uh, replace the hardship of dealing with a woman you know um, by taking drugs or by doing alcohol you know like heavy drinking or or, or or drug use or whatever 
you want to control the substances that go in your body you know you really do um like i said this has worked for me over the years it has kept me sane it has kept me out of trouble because this sort of thing will have you dealing with the cops in no time and before you know it, you'll be arrested uh you won't be able to keep a job um in short you won't be able to function and you know the reason why drug use was was penalized in our society you know back in uh back in the 70s in the 80s, right, was because, you know, the substances that we consume, they, they, they end up making who we are as human beings, right? And, and if you destroy your body, you end up destroying the core, the very core of who you are, you know, your habits, your mannerisms, your beliefs, everything changes because of what you consume. It's very important, very important um, to stay clean and to stay safe, you know, stay away from all this junk. Um, you know, you, you want to feed yourself with the most nourishing substances that are known to man. You know, green vegetable juice, water, um, whole grains and fruits and, you know, vegetables, that sort of stuff. Anyways, I, I you know, I hope, um, I hope my message, uh, you know, makes its way over to you, you know, um, I hope it helps somebody out there. Again, this is in no way, shape, or form meant to, um, you know, to uh, to belittle anyone. But if you if if you're dealing with with a situation where you know you're having a hard time w with a specific substance, you know, it's. Uh, you know, most likely than not, it's, it's hurting you, right? And, and and you need to seek help. Um, some some things should be illegal, and they're not. Um, I can think of you know some substances that that could be better controlled, right? And, and some things are are not illegal. I mean, they're legal and or. Anyways, what I'm saying here is that that it's up to you. It's up to you, and, and you can't leave, you know, you can't leave these decisions to the government, right? You can't leave it to Uncle Sam or to Uncle Joe or whoever, wh whoever is, um, you know, in charge at the time, you know, the, the Food and Drug Administration or wh whoever, right? You have to find out, you know, what, what the substances are out there that will harm you and, and keep those substances away from you. Uh, if you want to have a nice life, that's one way to do it. You know, I, I've, uh, again, uh, you know, I, I know I'm not the only one, but uh, I've I've had a very tough life, especially at the beginning of my existence. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best decisions I made, one of the best things I did was to stay away from anything um, that might have presented some sort of harm to my body. You know, in the case of alcohol, right, it's, you know, it uh, it impairs your ability to drive, to operate machinery. It, it, it you know, it attacks your liver. Um, it, it, your balance is, you know, it throws it off whack, right? And sometimes people talk too much because of it, uh, you know, because of alcohol consumption. That's another thing. So, so things, these things you want to control and maybe even eliminate from your life altogether. Um... You know, we might as well just take another look at these guys here um, before I let go, um, let you guys go, and to see, you know, to see where they stand after, after having taken these hits. There's that guy holding the needle. Still there. homeless, unaware of the dangers in, in their situation. You know, these, these shits, you know, these, these shit substances hit the streets. It's no good. No good. You know, it's, uh, 
what can I say? You know, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to. I hope, I hope I'm trying to. You know, I hope my message is just making its way, its way through. I'm, I'm trying to deliver it as much as I can, like, in, in a way that I would perhaps deliver it to my children or something. You know, because I see that American society is, is, is you know, is, is in peril because of it. You know, and this is, unfortunately, in the era of Trump. Um, you know, he promised he was gonna close the border and you know get rid of people doing drugs or whatnot, right? Stop the drug, the, the inflow of drugs from from the southern border or whatever. But as long as the demand is there, you know, there there it's always gonna be someone to supply it. And heroin is is one of those cheap things that people do. You know, it just it just tears them all up, it tears them all up. Unfortunately. Um. So, you know, if, if I had my son with me right now, I would just, you know, I wouldn't lie to him. I'll, I'll tell him, you know, you know, son, this is, this is unfortunately what people do, you know. It's, 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 un it's unfortunate that they, you know, that they're imprisoned in their, in, in their, in their desires, you know, just to feel good for the moment. And, you know, the same thing can be said of, of women, right? You don't want to cause yourself long-term damage because you you know you want a short-term burst. But life is tough, and I gotta go on. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit through the other door. You know the driver's side door. These guys will probably be nodding off by the time you know by the time I exit. And I'm gonna go about my business, go go about my bike ride, get some food at you know a local restaurant or whatever, and hopefully by the time I come back, they'll be gone. Anyways, Miktao, thank you for watching. Stay sane out there. I'll catch you in the next video.